All right, guys. It's been a long time since I made a video. Um, just with everything going on and shit, obviously. You guys know what the fuck was going on. Um, just been really busy. But, so today, this thing has been a long time coming. This video has been, anyways. Uh, I was talking about it for in my last video, I think. I said that I was going to bring it out and do a review on it, but it took a minute for me getting it, and I finally, like, everything's up and good, and I got it, and I uh, tattooed with it a couple times, um, but it's the Bronk V10, so I'll let you guys check it out. There it is. The thing I like about this one is it's got the the click grip. And it's also got the hit adjust. You know, and this one moves a lot better than the V7 did. Speaking of which, the V7 also had a click uh, grip, but it wasn't the ball. It was the little plastic piece. Uh... But I like the ball better. It just it clicks better and it it's just smoother in my opinion. But um, so that's that. But also, so I'm gonna give you my opinion on this. Okay, so obviously it comes with a different cam and I put the 3.7 and it comes with a 3.2 and a 3.7 cam. Um, now I'm gonna bring out another tattoo machine that is almost exactly like this one. Okay. And it, that's obviously the Bronx V7. Also having the fucking, this doohickey. Also with the cam 3.2 or 3.7. I just use the 3.7 a lot. See, now this click is plastic. And this, I mean, the twister works, but it's, it's just harder so I'm gonna compare these right next to each other because they're extremely similar in how they're made um, you cannot interchange these uh, any, like anything you can't you can't interchange anything in these like they won't fit they're two different machines so the thing I like about the V7 is I like how it says Bronk right here. I wish this said Bronk right here. But they wanted to go away from it and make it look like its own thing. Uh, I guess I like this grip, like this type of grip, but I like a bigger grip, so I don't even use that. This grip's nice because it's bigger, but I also put a grip on it and wrap it, so that's my new too. But... So they have the exact same motor in it. It's 4.5 watt Swiss motor. Uh, the max on both of these uh, is seven and a half volts, which in my opinion, you can't really do too much with. Um, you can obviously shade and pepper shade and whatever. But lining, I think you need to bring it up to like eight volts, but then that runs a risk of damaging your motor. But, you know whatever uh but here's uh the this this one had the the um head adjuster is a little bit bigger so i think they improved it there and they obviously improved in the grit or the click uh this one only has one o-ring this has two smaller ones this has the single which i mean it works it's not it's not a huge there's not a lot of wiggle this one obviously has no wiggle at all because of the two and it's just, so that's got a plus, but they're both the same price right now on the website. Um, I think it's like 258, something like that, but they're both the exact same price. Um, but let me tell you if, cause these are extremely similar, like they're like the exact same machine, but not like this is obviously it's a newer one. So they've kind of got the kinks out of this one. This one's like this is basically like 4.7 version two, basically is what the Bronx V10 is. Um, I 
love this tattoo machine if you've seen my preview on it. I absolutely love it. So obviously I love this one. Um, I do a lot of uh, fine line stuff lately. Like I've done a lot. I do a lot of uh, pepper shading and stuff. If you check my Instagram out, it's um, the same as my YouTube, Adam underscore M underscore tattooing. Uh, check that out. You can see my I'm, I'm more into the black and gray pepper shade uh, So this is perfect for that. This does everything I needed to do um, I was using this or I would use my v3 uh, My bronc v3 I use all the time is until I got this then I started using this a lot but um, So this has everything the v7 has but it runs smoother and let me let me show you what I mean like you can hear the difference when I run it and I'll run it at 7 volts that way you guys can hear it at its so-called peak even though it says 7.5 for some um, different ones so here's the V let me make sure it's at 7 okay so this is 7 volts and here's the V7 loud as shit that's probably hold on guys oh yeah Duh. Let me make sure that I got this fucker on here. There we go. That was loose. So that's the problem with my V7. I don't know about you guys. So that's 7 volts with the V7. Okay? And yeah, that little uh, adjuster pisses me off. But this one's great. This one's just fine. I have no problems with the adjuster. This is 7 volts with the V10. So you can hear the difference. You can feel the difference, like, in vibration. See, it's moving just a tad bit, but it's not tipping over or nothing, and it's not moving too much. That one moves like a motherfucker and vibrates a little more. So this vibrates a little more. They're about... I didn't, I didn't weigh them. I should have weighed them. Uh, they feel about the same. I mean, the grip's a little bit bigger on the V10. Um, everything's a little bit bigger on the V10. Um, except for the motor. The motor's the exact same. So, let me give you my opinion on if you want to buy a pen tattoo machine or whatnot. Like, a lot of people out there have asked me about the V7, and that's been my go-to. That or the short pen. But the short pen I, I like because it's a direct drive. The V9 and the short pen are... The direct drives so those are amazing for like lining and like thicker lines and shit this all around is a better tattoo machine because it can do anything right um it doesn't line as good as the short pen or the v9 but it still does what it needs to do and people who do thick lines like 18 rounds or 18 you know like 15 to 18 round liners or shaders they usually use a coil machine or like a dan cuban uh, liner, sidewinder, or whatever, they usually use an actual lining machine, something that is made for lining. They usually use standard needles because they're just better for lining. Um, that's facts. That's not my opinion. That's facts. Um, so, that's that. But if you want an overall good tattoo machine, I mean, I would buy this, let's say I had, um... The 700 or whatever the fuck the FK Iron one cost. Let's say I had that to blow. I had that money in my pocket and I was like, cool, I can either get that or get this and then have money for fucking new, uh, supplies. I would most definitely get this. This does what that does. I mean, it, it's it's not as pristine and like as big big a name and everything, but this, this does everything I need it to. Like, so, I mean... A lot of people have done like side by side with this and the uh, FK. Like obviously, it's it's got they spend more money on parts and more money on shit, so it's gonna be built better. But that's that's what happens when you spend more money. You gotta you get better parts. But the Swiss motor in this runs pristine. It runs great, and the parts on it are are they put enough money into it to where they can sell it for the price that they have for us tattoo artists who. Have families and they would live live day by day we we don't have these big old fucking instagram accounts and we're not on ink master and shit like come on guys like we're tattoo artists we're not you know throwing money everywhere so 
This is for us who uh, have bills, basically, and don't have a shit ton of money to throw around. Um, I really, really like this. I'm glad they tweaked the V7 because I had a couple of like in in like problems with, like I said, with the adjuster and. I was like, well, it could be a little bit better. It could be a little punchier, like, you know, just shit like that. I don't like the fact that the voltage is 7 or 7.5. I wish they had a little bit more torque in in the motor. I mean, they do. You just got to turn it up a higher voltage. Now, I've ha I ran this at 8.2 to line, thicker lines. My my 3.5 on line, drive, I run at 7.5, and, and it's fine. I just slow my hand speed down a little bit, which is fine. Um... And, but when I run it at 8.2, it's not heated up. It's not, nothing's, nothing, no problems with it. I think they just recommend that just so it lasts longer. Um, but now that I have two of these, um, I'm a little less scared of one taking a shit because I have a backup basically because these are pretty damn close to the same thing. So if I need one to do what I need it to, the other one will do it if this one falls or this one falls. So, uh. But back to what I would think if I was to tell you what to buy over which. Because they're they're very fucking similar. They're like the exact same thing, like I said many a time. Uh, obviously, they're the same price. So your best bet's to get the newer of the two, right? Like, obviously, you want to get the 2020 model. You know, you if you're going to get a car and they're the same price, you want to get the newest one, right? Because they, they've obviously tweaked the older model. And that's what they've done here. They made it um, much better. Uh, you can tell by the sound. You can tell by uh, my description and everything, those of you who trust me. Um, so, yeah. If you have any questions, get a hold of me on on here or on Instagram. Uh, like I said, it's Adam underscore M underscore tattooing. Uh, sorry, it's taken so long. I'm going to really try to get up and make more videos uh more um if i had like a shit ton of money i would buy a bunch of machines and try to fucking review them for you guys but i just i don't i don't have it like that so i gotta do it when i can uh so please bear with me but if you have any questions that i can help you with just ask and i'll do my best but anyways other than that you guys have a good day or night whatever one and i'll see you in the next one